Today I want to talk about scheduling with your kids. Um, we, um, a few years ago, we did, um, we started scheduling with our kids, meaning we did everything on a schedule with our kids. Um, we, my husband typed up, we wrote out, a, we talked about a schedule, we wrote it out together, and we typed it up, and we followed the schedule to the T. And um, we've been doing that schedule for years, from day one to now. Um, that way they're on a schedule every day. They know what they do every single day, pretty much. Of course, when they get older, it changes up. But all you do is change up the schedule as they grow also. Um, that keeps controlling your home. When you have multiple kids, it's, it's kind of, people feel like it's hard. It's really not hard. All you have to do is um, do a schedule, um, write a schedule. If it's two of you guys, adults in the house, communicate a schedule. And work the schedule. The schedule helps everything. It tells everybody what it's supposed to be at. It tells you, the kids, everybody. Even if you forget, there's a schedule on the board. Go check what the schedule say. You know, with for years we started with, you know, I used to walk a lot when I was pregnant with my kids in between my kids. So I had my walking on there. had my prayer time on there. I had study time. I had break time, lunch time, dinner time, nap time. I had it all from day one, from the begin from six o'clock in the morning, all the way till everybody go to sleep, and then I can't uh, shut it down after um, bedtime, which is eight o'clock in my in our home. Um, we have everybody go to bed. All the kids go to bed at eight o'clock. We've been doing that over ten years. The reason for that is control. We have to have con control in the home for as, I don't mean like controlling, controlling, like being over, you know, over the top. I mean, basic um, scheduling, making sure they are on a schedule like at school so that way they can, everything is a little more controlled in the home where it's not chaotic. That's what I mean. It's, it's a way to keep your home as, as, as um, um, less chaotic as possible, structured. I guess I should use that word. As structured as possible. Um, you want structure because kids respond better to structure. Most of the time you have to be over the top uh, stressing kids out, uh, losing it over this and that. But the structure, if you start with structure from day one, nines out of ten, they will be awesome growing up and everything. They will be structured. They'll be decent. Of course, they're going to have a kid that's not listening or they're going to have one kid fleeing off or doing something else. But... The structure, at the overall point of the structure, majority of the kids will be fine. If somebody get out of line, all you have to do is say, hey, you know, have a talk with the kid. You don't have to fight them, beat them, none of that. Um, let's have a talk. Because if you're talking to them from day one, they will, you, they, you'll, they'll be fine from the um, talk. Come on, let's have a talk over there. And they know what the talk means because you had the talk from day one. Let's have a talk. They have a talk with you. And you say, you know, hey, this is the schedule. Um... Even if you have to do visuals, I learned that in class yes, uh, Saturday um, the, about the visuals. I never really did visuals with my scheduling, but I'm going to add visuals now. I, I have older kids now, and my five-year-old is, I don't even really have to do that much with him, but I might do a few visuals here and there, but he's he's too advanced for that because um, he's around older kids, and we've been on them since day one. Um, so schedule is important. Be mindful that... Um, the time we take and put into the kids, it's a big deal. Don't think little stuff like scheduling won't change your life and your kids' life. Just know, just do scheduling. Um, uh, try At least try as best as you can to start as early as you can with scheduling because um, you'll, you'll see. Just try it out and you'll see your life better. Do not start it one day and think it's going everything will be perfect in a month or a week. You have to kind of if you don't start from day one when they're born, it's not going to work right away. You have to start um, day one and it's going and it's going to flow on its own. If you start after you then let them do whatever they want, it's going to take a little while to get them adjusted. You're going to have to talk a little more to them. You're going to have to be like, "Uh, uh-uh, we have to do this. No, this is this time. It's that time. We can't." We can't do this. This is this time today. This is snack time or this is reading time. Like right now, my kids think they're too old for naps. We all take naps. This is the same time we've been taking naps for years. We're going to take a nap. This is nap time. Uh, I, uh, I'm getting to the point. I'm like, just take a, just relax. Just lay down and relax. Re relax and lay down with your thoughts. 
you know, because you still have to take that moment to relax sometimes and just don't do anything but relax. Sometimes you just need to do that because um, you're always going, going, going all the time, you know. So just th that fight, them little 30 minutes relaxation to an hour, 30 to an hour, that's what I, I do. I mean, you have to do that, but I do 30 to an hour for me and, and our, our family in general. Um, we do that time, and that's the rest time, and then we get up and we refresh. I can do a whole second half of the day without a blank because I didn't relax. I didn't, you don't see me having strokes and stressed out because I relax. I take my naps, you know. Well, see you next time. Hope you like this video.